how they are biosynthetically synthesized into a pentacyclic triterpenes. So definitely they are 30 carbon containing. So they are basically being synthesized from 15 carbon urate that we commonly call farnesyl pyrophosphate. So farnesyl pyrophosphate, this is the difference. But so you have come across a know from monoterpenoid to sester terpenoid in 20 to 5 carbon containing terpenoids. All of them are formed by head to tail addition with isoprenyl units. Monoterpenoid to isoprenyl unit combined, but in head to tail way. Similarly, farnesyl pyrophosphate phosphate you have seen girenyl pyrophosphate gpp combined with another pyrophosphate unit to combine farnesyl pyrophosphate if this farnesyl pyrophosphate two units combines uh, sorry if it combine with another farnesyl pyrophosphate it results in the formation of a 20 carbon containing system that we uh, that is uh, in literature it is named a, a ggpp GG stands for girenyl, girenyl pyrophosphate mean two girenyl units are coupled with each other. And you have come across up till here, up till uh, diterpenoid, similarly sesterterpenoid as well, 25 carbon containing. So when GGPP combined with another isoprenyl unit, it results in the formation of a 25 carbon unit that may undergo a variety of different reactions. So to up till 25 carbon containing system means sester terpenoid, monoterpenoid, sesquiterpenoid, diterpenoid, sester terpenoid. These all four terpenoids are formed by head to tail reaction. But the triterpenoid, and you shall see afterwards, Tetraterpenoid, they are always formed by tail to tail combination. Tail to tail bond formation takes place, not head to tail. In head to tail, there one is donor, other is acceptor. This is what is normal chemistry. But when we are talking about two heads are joining or two tails are joining, it is just like two positive or two negative terminals we are connecting with each other. If you have uh, two positive terminals of a battery, you are connecting them with each other. There shall be no difference, potential difference. If you are connecting two neutral negative charges with each other, there shall be no difference of potential. But when you have a one positive, one negative, so there should be a flow of electric current. Very similar is here. So when we are having one positive, uh, sorry, this one positive mean electron deficient carbon, one electron rich carbon. When they combine with each other, then we get a donor acceptor reaction, mean head to tail addition. But when triterpenoids are synthesized, it is entirely different. I have already presented this whole mechanism. This is just a repetition because same shall be happening in tetraterpenoid. So farnesyl pyrophosphate carbon 30, uh, 30 carbon unit, 30, 20, uh, 15 carbon containing unit farnesyl pyrophosphate undergoes in the presence of enzyme called synthase, which make a change at this position. It isomerizes this unit. This uh, pyrophosphate unit leaves this and moves to this position. L next, what happened? This synthase transfers a hydride, replaces this pyrophosphate by hydride. So this is what I have presented here. In other words, another mechanism I can present SN2 prime. This leaves with electron pair, this pi electron transfer here, and hydride is transferred to this by enzyme. But this is not statistically much uh, important. Anyhow, whatsoever is the mechanism, the Ultimately, we get a hydride at this position and we have a double bond at this position, which makes it sterically not crowded. Now, this carbon, which was electron deficient, now you see the same carbon is electron rich. This is what you have, you are parallel to large. 
uh, organic major that you are studying is organic chemistry. Definitely you have come across that uh, German term that is used in organic synthesis, the umpalong. Umpalong mean reverse in polarity. Here this carbon is electron deficient, partial positive charge due to this oxygen, more electronegative actually. But now when it transfer into this by the action of synthase, you see, the same carbon is no electron rich. So from positive charge, no, it becomes negatively charged. This is called umpalong in organic synthesis. So anyhow, in this case, this one unit, which was an acceptor unit, is converted into donor. This is the same, but I have presented here, phosphate unit. <clears throat> this one, this carbon electron deficient and this carbon electron rich, they make a bond. I have presented this bond with red. Look at here, this bond and this bond. And rest of the bonds I have presented in very similar way. Now you can see here, this is called squalene. This is a molecule commonly called squalene. This is called the precursor of triterpenoid. We undergo the action of epoxidase to convert epoxidation at this place or that. This is symmetrical molecule. Either you start from this or you from here. You shall see the same number of isoprene ionizers. You see one, two, three, four, five, six isoprene ionizers are combined. This is the center. Three on right hand side, three on left hand side. So anyhow, here what happens is epoxidation takes place either on this terminal or on this terminal. It may be above the plane or below the plane, depend upon the enzyme. If it is alpha epoxidase, this uh, epoxidation shall take place behind the plane. If it is beta epoxidase, it shall epoxidize this above the plane. Now what happened? This oxygen is protonated in acidic medium. As a result, becoming a positively charged oxygen takes this electron pair off to make a tertiary carbocation, which is stabilized by this pi electron density and this get, gets transfer. You have seen this is almost commonly called lanosterone. It leads to, and this is the actual mechanism, how the previous, this one is synthesizing this entity. This further undergo a sigma bond transfer. This is a one to one, one to transfer. This is commonly called one to migration. This is a migratory group. This is the migratory origin, and this is a migratory terminus leads into the formation of the six member ring with a positive charge here. Then it results in the formation of another carbon carbon bond generating more stable tertiary carbocation which also undergo very similar sigma bond transfer, very similar to this. As a result, again, form a six member ring. Then we can get this uh, here, a water molecule can approach, any other nucleophile can approach. Similarly, it may undergo hydride transfer to generate CH2 group present here, or one hydrogen can leave from here to generate a double bond at this position. All or many mechanisms are further possible. So you have come across, that here in this molecule, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight methyl groups here. And in product, you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight methyl groups are also present. So this is the synthesis of triterpenoid. You have come across. Similarly, this molecule can undergo generation of a reductase can act. And these doesn't exist in this conformation because this is six member ring, six, 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 six. Now how many six member ring? One, two, three, four, five. This is called pentacyclic triterpenoid. This is a pentacyclic, penta means five ring, pentacyclic triterpenoid. So you see, uh, in this ring, uh, you are having uh, basically all carbons are present in this case. So 22 carbons are making the ring and eight carbon in the form of methyl are outside the ring. So total 30 carbons. And some of the molecule you may see carboxylic group at this position, carboxylic group at this position, carboxylic at this position, how it forms, or you may get a CH2OH. Very simple oxidase works, converts methyl into hydroxymethyl, then hydroxymethyl further oxidized to aldehyde, and then aldehyde further oxidized to carboxylic acid. You may have an ester here, then that carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol to form an ester. 
So anyhow, there are so many possibilities with these ones, but these are the fundamental structure, pentacyclic triterpenoid. You may have a, a beta position uh, a hydroxyl above the plane. This is called beta. In this hydroxyl, if you're behind the plane, so alpha epoxidase work, and this is called alpha hydroxy. So in this molecule, this may also undergo oxidation to generate a carbon oxygen, double bond. Very similar, it may undergo dehydrogenase can work, generating a double bond at this position. So carbonyl and this double bond may be in conjugation, just similar to have come across in alpha centonin, etc. So these molecules are having four ring junctions, one, two, uh, three, and four. Four ring junctions are there. All of them are trans, if you observe this and that, methyl and hydrogen trans, methyl and hydrogen trans, hydrogen and methyl trans, hydrogen and methyl trans. All of these ring junctions are trans. So they are existing in trans conformation. This is the conformation I have presented. Five cyclohexane ring fused with each other. And these are the methyl I have highlighted. So eight methyls are present on this ring. Further, many enzymes can work to generate a different, this is a basic precursor. It may further undergo a variety of different natural products. I hope it shall be clear. And uh, this, these are a few I have highlighted just for, to show their biological importance. Triterpenoids are reported to be uh, biologically much active. Let's say I have presented here a few structure. Uh, this is the molecule, if you remember how it has been uh, coming out of this. If you remember, look at this structure and look at this structure. Uh, sorry, uh, just one before this one. Look at this one. Just we have a methyl uh, isopropyl group positive charge. If a group transfer hydride to this reductase, if it hydrogenate this hydride, it transfers, it shall be neutralized. This look at this. This is the same molecule. If it undergo reduction, you see, you shall get this molecule. This methyl is at same position, same position, methyl, 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 same position, beta hydroxy as well. So this is only the positive charge here is being quenched. This natural product is commonly called lupion. And where here X is hydrogen. This is methyl. This is the most simplest one. Right? So what happened in this case is very simple that this is called lupiole. This is anti-inflammatory compound. What is anti-inflammatory activity it shows? What is anti-inflammatory? If you remember sometime uh, if you get hurt or if there is a uh, some of time your body swells up if uh, your hand or your body strikes rapidly with something else, you see where it strikes, that part swells up. Why it swells up? Because this uh, process is called inflammation in uh, physiology, in medical sciences. This is called inflammation when your body swells up. Why it swells up? Because the capillaries there uh, stops the supply of the blood. As you respond, it basically inflammates. This is called inflammation. And the one which blocks inflammation is called anti-inflammational -inflama uh, activity or anti-inflammatory activity. So it has such activity. It reduces the inflammation. This is its role. And similarly, look at uh, vitulin. Uh, this is what here acts if, what is the only change taking place between lupiole and uh, vitulin? In vitulin, what happens? Uh, this methyl is hydroxylated. One of the hydrogen is oxidized to OH. This is, this acts is OH. So just one change, lupiole is converting into vitulin resulting in just a one OH here, one oxygen difference only. Otherwise, it is lupiole, the same lupiole, but having a OH here. So this is entirely different from this structure. 
but it ha also have a biological application. It is antiphlogistic. So this is also having a physiological function inside the body, acting as a remedy in fact. Look at this structure. What is the difference in this one and that one? You see, rest same. You see, double bond, methyl, methyl, trans ring junction, trans ring junction, trans ring junction, trans. Just we have a carboxylic group here and we have a carbon carbon double bond in this case. So, what happened? This lupiole, rather, its precursor, where it has a positive charge, it reduces. It loses one H positive bind and generates a double bond here, this one. And then this vichino, this vichilin, which is this one, OH, it is oxidized to aldehyde, then aldehyde is oxidized to carboxylic acid. So you see, this one is derived from this one and that, that one. So rather it undergo hydrogenation, it undergo addition of hydrides, it undergo addition and uh, removal of hydrogen ion to generate a double bond here. And similarly, this carbon, which is vichylene type OH, it oxidized to aldehyde, then aldehyde further oxidized to carboxylic acid. And this is vichylenic acid. This vichylenic acid is anti tumor, it reduces tumor. You are familiar with the terminology tumor. Tumor is the abnormal growth. Uh, where there are some uh, tumors are commonly called guilty in Urdu. So where there is such malignant cells are start growing. So their mass increases, density increases, and uh, they cause uh, malignancy. So this is basically uh, commonly called vitulinic acid, which gets the risk of, which decreases the risk of tumor. It doesn't let that tumor to grow. This is the biological application. It is called anti-tumor activity it has. You see, biosynthetically, they are very similar. Just a structural variation. Here, this axis hydrogen. This is hydroxylated result, vichulin, which is a different component. And this vichulin undergo further oxidation, two more steps. It generates this one. Until and that this should undergo hydrogen-hydrogen transfer. <clears throat> Similarly, look at oleolonic acid. Oleolonic acid. In this, what is the change? Same component like this, right? But what we are having, it is generating rather a five-membered ring. It is converting into a six-membered ring. Just look at here. Uh, what I have presented, five-membered ring. If the sigma bond transfer takes place from this carbon to that, the five-membered ring shall be converted into six-membered ring. This one. If it undergo oxidation uh, reduction, if this is being reduced, it shall result in this nucleus. So what is the difference? Uh, basically, we are getting a double bond here, or this double bond is generated. Just see, I'm just going to explain. First of all, this hydrogen transfer from this position to that generates a positive charge here. This is a tertiary carbocation. This is a secondary carbocation. So this is more stable. This hydride transfer, so you get a positive charge here. So then this hydrogen transfers to this and the positive charge is generated here. One hydrogen from here leaves and generates a carbon-carbon double bond. Here. You see, this is how this is happening. In fact, a double bond is being generated here. This nucleus, I already remember, this is called olein 3 beta ol. This is olein ring. You shall see much detail in steroid, in fact. So this is the... Just hydrogen is making this hydrogen is cleaved and we are getting a double bond here. So it's rather a five member ring, it is converted into six member ring. Now just look at the difference between this structure and this structure. This is called oleanonic acid. It is antimicrobial, mean it kills the growth of microbes. Microbes, uh, it may be uh, fungi. It may be pytho, it may be bacteria, etc. So bacteria or fungi or any other uh, pathogenic microorganisms, they are being killed by this oleanonic acid, right? So this is very simple. Look at this structure and this structure. What is the difference? Same structure, just we have two methyl at same carbon. Here we have two methyl at opposite positions. This is the difference. So how this is being synthesized? Very simple. If I just come back to this, 
what is happening? One methyl positive charge is here. This one of the methyl transfer, this is your secondary carbocation keeping in mind. One of the methyl transfer from this position to this, right? This positive charge quench, we get a positive charge here. One reductase transfer hydride to this carbon and generate two action are only taking place. One is methyl transfer from this position to this positive charge here, generating this one. And second is hydride transfer by enzyme reductase shall bring this molecule. So this is how biosynthetically, you see the, this is a precursor, this is also the precursor, right? So this is a precursor, you can see, or this is a precursor, right? So these are the uh, biosynthesis, how different components are being generated. Uh, or solic acid, this is also antimicrobial. Both of these are antimicrobial. They kill the microorganism. This entity, uh, bitulinic acid is anti-tumor. And similarly, lupiol is anti-inflammatory and bitulin is anti-phlogistic. So these are different varieties of biological activity. It is not limited. Uh, these are the only triterpenoids which are biologically active. I have just taken a few examples from the literature. Otherwise, literature is full of triterpenoid and their biological importance. So anyhow, uh, I shall switch over to next type of the terpenoid. Last one is tetraterpenoids. Tetraterpenoids, uh, just uh, I will see that we are having just uh, almost one and a half minute remaining. So once the session is over, we shall log in again. Uh, for 20 minutes more, inshallah, so to finish up this today's lecture. So tetraterpenoids are basically, uh, their precursor are 20 carbon units. You have seen this is a five carbon unit, another five carbon unit, another five, another five. So five, 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 total 20. This precursor is commonly called diterpenoidal precursor. But in literature, you may find this is called GGPP, which stands for girenyl, girenyl pyrophosphate. Mean two girenyl units are combined. Now, how this is being combined? You see, this is girenyl. This carbon is electron deficient. We have a OPP here. And this unit, you see, this unit, this carbon is electron rich. So electron rich, electron deficient combined to form 20 carbon units. So up till sester terpenoid, if another carb, uh, another girenyl, sorry, isoprenyl pyrophosphate unit combined, it shall again form head to tail fashion, result in the formation of 25 carbon units, which is a precursor of sester terpenoid. But for tri and tetra terpenoid, it undergo a variety of different mechanisms. It undergo tail to tail, 